We have uh, Shivaji Rao now who writes in through email. He says that he's on the verge of signing a builder buyer agreement with a developer in Pune. Now he says that our channel has been suggesting to observe due diligence while signing such an agreement. Now Shivaji asks us if we could provide him a checklist of documents that he should ask from the developer. He also wants to know if the builder is duty bound to supply him a copy of such documents. He also wants to know was a draft agreement to be vetted by a professionally sound legal counsel? What is the fee normally charged by the legal counsel? Now, Shivaji has obviously been seeing this channel long enough. And Shivaji, we have put out from time to time the list of documents that you need to ask if you're uh, doing the due diligence of your property. But I'm sure Neera would run through it once again for you. Certainly. So uh, first and first, uh, foremost would be the title of the developer to the land. Second would be uh, his application uh, to the concern authority for the purpose of obtaining permissions uh, and getting the plan sanctioned to construct the building. Third would be the uh, sanctioning the plan and granting permission for construction. Fourth would be uh, the municipal corporation and uh, the concern authority permitting him to construct the building. Uh, and uh, fifth would be the compliance of all the conditions that have been, uh, uh, that have been stipulated in those uh, permissions and concerns that have been granted. Apart from this, you would want to look at uh, the Urban Land Sealing Act as to whether there was any uh, there, there were any uh, filings done with the Urban Land Sealing Act and whether there are any conditions imposed by them, uh, whether the land is agricultural, non-agricultural, whether the uh, permission for conversion has been obtained, whether there is access uh, and a free and a proper access to the property, and that there are no boundary disputes by any of the uh, uh, neighboring plots. Right. And uh, should he also, uh, uh, is the developer duty bound to provide him with a copy of these documents? Yes. So Each and every document should be reviewed by you carefully and minutely because the developer will take a representation from you in the agreement stating that you have reviewed all the documents that are, uh, that, uh, all the documents in respect of this particular property and are satisfied with the same. And that may hurt you and go against you in taking a stand in future that you were not aware about a particular document. Right. And the other thing, the other document that you should, of course, ask for, which Neerav did mention in passing, and you should check is that uh, if you're buying a flat in a tower, in a building, you need to check whether or not the floor that you're buying on, whether that has got the requisite uh, construction certificate or the CC, as it is called. That is another thing that you need to check. And very quickly, Neerav, he wants to know if he does try to get his agreement vetted by a uh, by an advocate, how much would he have to pay on an average? That completely varies from who does he approach from advocate to advocate. That's a very vague thing. I mean, I don't think anybody can put any figure to it. It depends upon the time and the work that is What is the basic in minimum? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, so that's something that you will need to find out. You can watch live TV on our website, mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash magic bricks now. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at magic bricks now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash magic bricks now.